Hey yo, what is up guys? This is Epic Talk and today we're gonna be reviewing on another bizarre looking car other than the limo I have shown on the previous video and what we're waiting for. Let's check it out. Alright, so what we're talking about now is the new 2022 Western Motors. Uh, we're not gonna be looking at any of those because uh, I saw some of mine. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, yeah. So, what we're looking at here is the 2022 Western Thin. We've got quite a huge bunch of uh, models here. So, um, I may have forgotten which one I have started on. So, we have the E2MS Dual Torque. Uh, it's just basically front two wheels. E3MS Dual Torque. We just remember that there's a truck version and the SUV version. Uh, so, E2 MS can only boost you since 160 miles per hour, 65, uh, 6,500 pounds, and then the driver is a rear wheel drive with 355 horsepower and six seats. Six seats, interesting. The range is 250 miles. That's good. Uh, just remember that it's an electric car, so yeah. What's next now is the E3 MS. We're gonna have 120 miles per hour. That's even better. Uh, this all-wheel drive. That's pretty nice. Uh, 300 miles. Uh, yeah, uh, 355 horsepower. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Um, our first SUV. Uh, 250 miles. That's the uh, SUV. Oh, sorry for the background noise. Uh, so. Over here, we can see the 8 seating on the SUVs. That's nothing we're gonna change now. And you can see that uh, there's not much of a difference here. Uh, you can see here is the LED, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it does uh, have a special use to it. And you can see over here E4 MX Quadra Drive, that means the front and back wheels they both move. And that's actually pretty sick. Later you'll see why there's this grey thing over here, okay? Uh, so E4 MX Quadra Drive, it gives you 130 miles per hour and it gave you 500 miles. That's actually really far for an electric car. That's pretty much the furthest I've seen. The Quadra Torque, uh, it takes you 400 miles instead of 500. And that's actually pretty, pretty good. Um, the SUV version is actually a lot more different because it has uh, 130 um, miles per hour, 400 miles on the E3 MX Quadra Torque. And then the LEUD commission means that the front thing is taken off and the top thing is just colour. Uh, and this. The top speed horsepower is not going to change much. Uh, Rear wheel drive and the range is 400 miles. Uh, yeah. Quadra Torque SUV. Yeah, uh, this is the original Quadra Torque. And the decommissioned truck version. And then the Quadra Drive SUV. I'm pretty sure that's the one I have here. Yeah. And the colours of it is pretty cool. And I. I will have a custom color on the vehicle and yeah, pretty cool, uh, it's pretty nice. Alright, so what we see here is now the Western Sin, the E4 MX Quadra Drive SUV version with the two-tone eight-spoke uh, over here, you can see pretty nice and quite a bizarre looking car to be honest. Look at the left turn and then the right turn. Uh, sides. It's really bizarre. It's, uh, these default lights are also pretty nice so uh, when you turn on the lights those things are pretty cool. Uh, so uh, those outer layers uh, are pretty cool. And then here's the reverse light. Uh, Wait. Pretty cool. The uh, reverse acceleration is really, really, really fast. Yikes. 
So this reverse is actually quite good. And the celebration is just really powerful. And well, you can see if I just uh, stop, you can see that the wheels can actually turn. But do you notice that when you... It's not always the case though. It actually kind of turns back when the, when you stop. So, when I reverse the wheels are back on the thing. But when I stop it does this. Okay, that's actually... Just look at the top view. You can see the wheels just... Kind of bizarre looking though. Alright, so it takes up the. Uh, it's actually quite a wide vehicle, but like it's pretty cool. It's like a basic car, and I must say that the t roof is actually really cool looking. On the lock, we got eight seats. Mm, I thought it was gonna be two on the front, three on the side, and then two, three on the back, but obviously this is not the case. Uh, pretty cool. Alright, let's get into the driving test. Obviously, we already seen that this car is very, very good at uh, accelerating. If we're in sports mode, it's really weird that it has two gears. It's two gears. And obviously, this acceleration is quite fast. Oh, oh, uh, the so as I was saying, this acceleration is really good. Uh, turning's a little drifty, as you can see. Uh, you gotta take this a little bit slowly. This uh, acceleration uh, can move to 130 miles per hour, and this brakes quite decent. Quite decent, yeah. Obviously, if we're gonna turn like here, it's pretty nice as well. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Well, earlier I was talking about this thing, uh, how it's just all little pixel things on here. And you know what? Can display little faces, and that's what makes this thing really, really interesting. Because uh, you can't just use normal number pads on this thing. You must have a full-size keyboard and use the number pad on it. It doesn't need to have number lock on it or anything. It doesn't. But then I don't know about 60% or the mobile, how they're gonna work, but this thing is still pretty cool. It's just really good to display lights and you can just explain your emotions on there. And obviously it's gonna be a really sick looking car in the end, uh, which you can display emotions and stuff. Earlier on, you may have seen this like an OCSO and the uh, WSP, but sadly, I don't think they actually have the. Uh, they can't display motions, I think. But in the, but they're still pretty fast. And now, uh, all of those in the end is actually a pretty nice car overall. And uh, just quickly to get a drive, and now it's on the mode. And of course, I made it dirty. In the end, this car is very, very cool. I really like this car. I, it's just special features that it has. It's just absolutely amazing. And uh, thanks for watching till the end. I hope you really enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.